Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. USF researchers are in the process of sifting through the dirt on the grounds of the former Dozier School for Boys, investigating 27 possible graves identified earlier this year. The only way to really know is to excavate, so that's what we're doing, and um, we'll see what it is. It's the latest chapter in the 111-year Dozier saga. Reports of child abuse and the discovery of 55 human remains on the school grounds in 2013 cast a shadow of controversy over the town of Mariana. You're being branded as if this is a, a concentration camp city and the entire community felt under attack unfairly. Art Kimbrough, a longtime Mariana resident intimately involved in the Dozier story, says the community reaction to this new excavation is nothing like what was seen in 2013. It's more, much more of an intellectual exercise this time than it is an emotional exercise. Let's just do the things needed to bring proper and permanent closure to this. Survivors of abuse here believe more bodies will be found. Even if the 27 anomalies turn up not to be human remains, ground penetrating radar will be used to map the entire campus to end speculation once and for all. And that's why the community leaders have been so for getting the answers and doing it right this time, because it does bring closure when you have truth in the answers. Reporting in Mariana, Florida, I'm Jake Stofan.